Welcome to Diagnostic Cytology at the Leicester Royal Infirmary. Let's take a step inside the lab so I can show you how we process patient samples. Diagnostic Cytology is based in a lab at the Leicester Royal Infirmary. We're a small team of one advanced biomedical scientist, one specialist biomedical scientist and one biomedical assistant. And between us we process around 3,600 samples each year from patients across Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. That's a population of around 1.2 million people. Cytology is the study of cells. Using a microscope, we can observe changes and abnormalities in the size, shape and appearance of cells. Using these observations, we can diagnose diseases and infections, including cancer and gout, among many others. As biomedical scientists, we attend rapid on-site evaluation clinics to ensure that the samples taken have enough cells in them to allow for a diagnosis to be made. Back in the lab, we are responsible for preparing the sample so it's ready for the consultants to report. It's essential we do this as efficiently as possible so the patient can receive their result and begin treatment. Most of the samples we receive come from the clinics run within the hospital with a small selection of samples coming from GP surgeries. All the samples we receive are body fluids that are taken from different areas of the body. For example, we receive fluid from the three main body cavities, which are the abdomen, the area surrounding the lungs and the area surrounding the heart. And we also receive urine samples and fluid drained from any lumps and bumps. Before we can process any of the samples, we have to make sure we are wearing the correct personal protective equipment to keep us safe. Idris here is demonstrating what we need to wear. He's wearing a white coat and gloves to protect him from the samples and an apron in case he gets splashed by samples or chemical reagents. And since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, we now also wear face masks as soon as we enter the building. As soon as the samples are received in the lab, we check to make sure the patient details on the request form and the vial match. After that, we describe the colour and consistency of the sample and record this on the back of the request form. To separate the cells from the rest of the sample, we centrifuge it. Centrifugation is a technique which involves the use of centrifugal force to separate particles according to their size, shape and weight. Because the cells are heaviest, they end up at the bottom of the test tube and this means we can discard the rest of the sample and focus on the cells of interest. After centrifuging the sample, half the cells are manually spread onto a glass slide. As they are spread, the cells lay flat on the slide, a bit like a fried egg which makes them appear much larger. This allows for a closer inspection of the cells. The rest of the cells are then transferred onto a glass slide using a cytocentrifuge. This machine also uses centrifugal force to concentrate the cells against the glass slide. After cytocentrifuging, the slides are put straight into alcohol to fix them. This means the cells maintain their 3D shape, a bit like a boiled egg. After the slides have been made, they are transferred to the staining machine. The cells are stained using three different dyes. This helps us visualise the different components of the cells under the microscope. The stained slides are then protected by gluing a very thin piece of glass called a cover slip over the top. This prevents the cells being knocked off and stops the stain from fading. biomedical scientist now checks the slides to make sure the staining is right and the preparations are clear. The completed case is taken to an 
advanced biomedical scientist who reviews the slides and records their diagnostic opinion on the request form. step is to take the case to the reporting room, ready for the consultants to make the final diagnostic opinion, and report back to the hospital clinics or GP. Mm -hmm.